So this is your Maryland Ranty from Gus to Rise Above. If you guys are having a pimp touch, this flower touch, this flower out there so far, and that's been productive. But in today's video, guys, this is going to be another video of skincare, of taking care of your face, and making it look as best as possible. And this is another way that you can clean your face, you know, to make it look better, to improve your complexion, to get rid of blackheads, pimples, and so forth. And, um... Well, this method that I'm going to tell you about in this video is it's very simple and it's also still inexpensive. And with this uh, method of clean, of, of improving your complexion, the first thing that you need to do is, as I mentioned in my previous video, get a razor and slowly uh, go over across your face with it, like so over your face real slowly and gentle, you know, to exfoliate the skin. You know, you do it real slow on your nose, pretty much every part of your face you do, except for your eyebrows, of course. You know, you don't want to be missing your eyebrows unless you just want to get rid of them. But anyway, guys, so uh, you do that right there. And after that, you either get off in the shower for, for 10 minutes, a warm, hot shower to where uh, there's a warm shower where there's a lot of steam in the room. And also make sure you close the door to make sure that the room is real steamy to open up your pores and real hot. And also... Make sure you run plenty of hot water over your face to really, to really open your pores. So that's the second step to uh, clean your face. The third thing you do after this is you get your your black hair extractor, which is right here. I bought this on Amazon.com, which I'll put a link down below that you can buy this from. And it's a pretty inexpensive tool to help you... Um, get out your blackheads and pimples the, the right way because when you do it with your fingers uh, you have the possibility of scarring your face, damaging the skin, rupturing, rupturing uh, blood vessels in your face because the skin in your face is very delicate and it's very thin especially on your nose so this is a great thing to use to, uh, to stop yourself from being scarred easily or rupturing blood vessels in your face and so forth and if you have a face like me that's already soft, you know, I recommend using this because I am prone to scarring easily on my face and just anywhere in my body, you know, I think that's just uh, probably due to genetics on that part too. So hopefully you don't have that problem like I do. So again, this is a black hair extractor that you can buy on Amazon for 10 to 12 bucks, maybe cheaper than that. I'll put a price down below to uh, how much I bought this for. I don't remember it off the top of my head. So guys, after you get done doing that, using the black hair extractor, you get the, you get this, you buy this stuff called, uh, let me get it, it's called Health Beauty Aztec Secret, pretty much it's called Indian Healing Clay. And pretty much this is it, what it is guys, right here, let me show you what it is. And I also got this on Amazon, which I'll put a link down below, in which you get this. And you put you put about 15 uh 15 grams to 30 grams off in a bowl and also with this you're going to use uh apple cider vinegar unpasteurized right here you know you can get this at whole foods sprouts or whatever health store that you that whatever health store you have in your city or town that possibly may carry this and you want to get it unpasteurized because you want the the, the good bacteria off in the stuff to help really cleanse your face because this stuff is really good for uh, for cleaning your face off and uh, just uh, stopping the growth of bacteria and viruses and so forth so you mix that with the uh, with the Aztec clay you know make sure it's an equal amount to the Aztec clay so say for example you put in 30 grams of Aztec clay then you're gonna put in 30 30 fluid ounces 30 gram 30 30 grams or 30 fluid ounces of of apple cider vinegar in the bowl and you mix it together to where it forms a nice clay mixture now you also but you also want to make sure that it's not too runny or it's going to run down your face so make sure it forms into a paste that you can put onto your face so after that guys after this off in the paste form which takes about three to five minutes and you just apply it over your face as best as you can and then you just let it sit there after a while it starts to feel real tight on your face the clay does and when it starts to feel real tight in your face, that's when you know it's working and that it's, you know, cleaning your face off your complexion, pulling out the blackheads and so forth. So then after that, guys, after that, after you get done, after it gets some drying on your face, you just wash it off 
in the shower, and then voila, you'll see the the aftermath of all your hard work into extracting your blackheads, uh, exfoliating your skin with the razor, and putting on the acid clay. So, stay back, guys. I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and wash this stuff off my face. So, uh, st stick around. Hey guys, I'm back, and this is the aftermath of me using the uh, Aztec clay. My complexion looks better, just like in the previous videos after I got done exfoliating my skin with the uh, with the coffee grinds. And um, you know, guys, you just wash your stuff off with the uh, in the shower with hot warm water, and then you know if you have any left in your face, you just wipe it off with a uh, with a little hand towel or rag and to top it off guys um go ahead and put cold water on your, on your face to close your pores back up and to tighten the skin again and also the great thing about cold water is that when you put cold water in your face it sends blood deep down to into the tissue of the, of the face muscles which you know it helps uh promote uh how can i say it I'm not saying the words. It says blood flow deep into the tissues of the face, which is, which is good for promoting uh, uh, skin recovery, skin health, uh, speeding up the process of it, and um, just uh, keeping your skin real healthy because hot wire can damage your skin and dry out because it's hot. But cold wire does the opposite of that, and it's really great for closing up your pores. So definitely use the cold wire. And the last thing you want to use and buy is... <clears throat> Uh, hi, Laura. Hi, hi, I can't even say, guys. Hyaluronic acid, right here, which is you know something that's in every tissue of your body, and it pretty much helps with the with the production of of uh, collagen, which is important for skin health. And uh, as you get older, you know it declines, and that's when the aging starts to appear on the body and the face and the hands or whatever of your body and uh, this stuff helps slow down the process of the happening and it helps keep your skin healthy longer and keeps the collagen production up for as long as possible of course you know you can't uh, stop the hands of time but this does slow down the process and it will help you look better if you use this every day on your face or any part of your body that has any signs of aging and I got this stuff yesterday guys and I, and I, I just put about one I put about I put it on my face at least once or twice a day. You know, I don't get obsessive about this. I just put it on my face and it's, and it's a great moisturizer too, by the way. So I don't have to put lotion on my face when I use this cuz it moisturizes my face. So I just put this on my face once or twice a day, guys, and that's it. And this is a great way to finish off um your facial skincare and you will see um I'm pretty sure you will see uh the gradual changes and improvements in your complexion of your face. So guys, definitely give this routine a shot. It's a, it's worth the investment. It's inexpensive. You know, you can't beat that. You know, take care of your face, your skin, and so forth, and you will uh, benefit greatly from it in every area of your life. I guarantee that. But guys, um, if you found this video information beneficial, make sure you share it with your home slices, your family, friends, and so forth. Um, uh, if you uh, like I said, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you like the video. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. And make sure you follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and like my Facebook page. And I'm your man, Lanthony from Glister Rise Above. And until next time, guys. Bye-bye.